Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to use a split screen effect in iMovie for the iPhone. So let's get iMovie opened up and get straight into a project that I'm editing. So I'll click edit. And as you can see, I've got some clips in here that I'm editing, just some normal clips that I've cut together, but I want to basically split this in half and use a split screen. So the way that I add an effect is to go to this left hand plus button. So I can click this right now. And then you have to choose some media that you want to put into your timeline. There's two ways that you can use a split screen. One is adding a photo and one is adding a video. So in this instance, I wanna use a photo. So I can click on either photos or albums. Anyway, I'm gonna click on photos right here. And then as you can see, you can choose all or recently added. I'll just choose this selfie that I have. So I can go through to it, click it once. Now, usually if I want to add this to my timeline, I can press the plus button, but I want a special effect with the split screen. So I press the three dots I then come down and choose the split screen option so I can press that. It will then edit this into my timeline as a split screen on top of my other videos. So your original video clip will be on the left hand side and then the photo or video that you input as a split screen will automatically be put on the right hand side. There's a few things you can do with this split screen though. So the first is pressing on the magnifying glass and you can essentially pinch to resize and zoom. So once this is selected, pinch and zoom on the split screen and you can see you can basically change uh, the zoom of that and get it exactly as you want. So that's really good. And then if you press these arrows, actually what it does is basically change the split screen. So you can have it like this, then you can pinch and zoom as well to make sure it fills up the whole canvas. You can keep moving it around to pretty much any split screen that you want. Really great down the bottom as well is this border. So you can either have no border or you can just have a small white border in between. You can change the look and feel of it right here. So you can maybe change the different styles. You can also come down to this cut button. You can either duplicate it or completely delete it. And then that will be deleted from your timeline. Check out the description for way more iMovie tutorials. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.